You can have the wedding gown of your dreams without having to really splurge. Mary Hans Miss Cheap has some great ideas for shopping for a gown and saving tons of money. Well, you know, a lot of brides are on a budget, and the wedding dress can be one of the most expensive pieces of the wedding package. But here at some of the consignment shops um, that, that specialize in wedding dresses, like Second Time Around in Hendersonville, you can really get a deal. This dress would have been $1,100. Twenty-eight dollars, thirty-eight dollars, mm -hmm. and here you could get it for four hundred. And they've this researched it. Um, yeah, you can see the picture of it online. Uh, uh, it's in a lure bridal gown. It's a very, you know, premium brand. And this is absolutely stunning. You can see, uh, we'll show you the back too. It has a long train, which is pinned up right now. Well, it even has the straps if you wanted to do it that way. But the the owner here, Peggy Armstrong, she she's been researching these over the years, and now with the internet, she's able to show you what it's going to look like on. With this picture, she's researched the prices, and so you really know what you're getting. You know what kind of bargain you're getting. And the nice thing is, nobody would know that you spent <laughs> much, much less than the original retail price. And you know I like that. They have quite a selection here. If you're looking for a lace dress, uh, here's one that would have been $600. Now it's $300. Selection of plus sizes, too. This one is new with all the tags on it. It would have been $700. Now it's $350. And here's another one, too. It's a size 16 tag still on it, $200. Bucks. Well, that's what I like about this is that they're all sizes and all styles. And, you know, if you, a lot of these things, you may have seen them in the bride magazines even. But some of this, their short dresses, this is 175 um, I'm not sure what the price would have been on that. That's a, that is um, an expensive dress for sure. This one is one of the most inexpensive at $100. And that would be great at a beach wedding. Mm -hmm, a nice short dress. And then this is maybe one of the most expensive ones in the store at 450 but it would have been uh, over $1,200. I mean, it's look at that. That is beautiful. And $500 is tops in here. They're never going to have anything more than $500 for a wedding dress. Of course, when you're shopping here at second time around for your bridal needs, you might want to shop for other things, too, because we found a lot of neat things. Well, it's a full-line ladies consignment boutique. I mean, she's got everything from jeans and shoes and accessories to um, lots of name brands and some really good stuff at and, great prices. In fact, we did find some things that, um, a whole collection of things that are new with the tags still on them. We always like to find that because it's a greatly discounted price. Right, and you need to get on the mailing list, too, the email list, too, and then you find out what she's getting in. If you already have your dress, you can find other things to complement your bridal gown while you're here. Well, most of the shops that carry consignment wedding dresses also have some of the some of the accessories like veils and tiaras and shoes and um, little handbags and other pretty things that go with it and really add to the cost. But you can get those at a, for a deal too. And there are other great places in addition to Second Time Around where you can find bridal gowns too. Well, Second Time Around may have been doing this longer um, than the rest of them, or or at least one of the longest. But there are lots of places: Encore Bridal in Murfreesboro, Memories out in Mount Juliet, um, Fashion Boutique and Alterations in Green Hills. I mean, the Repeat the, the Repeat After Me Boutique is a new one in Mount Juliet, and you know the thrift stores uh, also have. Some, some beautiful wedding dresses. They used to do the big sale at Goodwill and they've, they've held that off for a year, but you could still find those in some, of the, in some of the thrift stores as well as consignment like Ladies of Charity, which is coming up later this month. And sometimes people find things on eBay as well. Um, that would worry me just a little bit because you don't get to try it on before you buy it. So shopping local always, I think, is a great idea. Right, and if you shop local, you know, you can even find a dress sometimes that is not a perfect fit and then still with the alterations, you're still coming out a lot less than the new dresses um, if you go consignment. And the nice thing is you can consign it back to the same <laughs> store afterwards after you've worn it too. That's a deal. That is a deal. All right, so we'll put all the information about all these places on our website. Mary, thanks so much for helping us save for our bridal days. Thanks, stay cheap.